Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is make sure that your rotator is at zero and zero, which is your minimum um, elevation and azimuth. Then with the power off on both your rotator and SAT box, make sure that all your cables are connected and secured. At this point, you're going to turn on your satellite controller and again, either from your mobile device or from your computer, you're going to connect to the IP address that is displayed on the SAT box. Then you're going to come and click on the rotator tab. The most important thing is to pick your rotator that you're going to use. So we are going to use the G5500. Okay. And now we are going to come down and click on the volts tab. And then watch the display and you are going to move your satellite rotator both azimuth and elevation all the way to the maximum setting which would be 180 degrees or the 90E which is also 450 degrees. While you're watching the voltages on the top line of the SAT go up. You do not want to have it more than 5 volts. Uh, 4.5 would be the ideal setting for the SAT device. So as we are watching the voltages go up and the needles are moving to the maximum position We observe the voltages are under 5, which is exactly where we would like them to be. Right now my antenna is at maximum position and the voltages are approximately 4.4 and 4.5, which is ideal. If you are not seeing the 4.4 or 4.5 setting on the back of your rotator controller, you have output voltage adjustments right here, which you can turn up to get that maximum voltage. If these two pots are at the maximum and you still do not have the 4.5 to 5, there is a two pots underneath that you can make some final adjustments on. Once that you have reached your maximum and adjusted your 4.4 volts. Come over here and set your maximum. Once you have set your maximum, then rotate the rotator all the way back to the zero position and then set your minimum. Which the minimum setting is over here on the screen. Now that we're at zero and zero again, we've set the minimum and then in your SAT box, you should have your minimum voltages and your maximum voltages displayed. And then you should be ready to use the rotator. Click on the save rotator settings and you're done.